Welcome to Happiest Places Home, the interior design channel. Today we're looking at the new products by Pottery Barn. So in this video, we will just explore the new products together with beautiful music in the background. And then if you would stay tuned until the end, we'll take a look at the Happiest Places Home interior designer top picks out of everything that we saw. I also put together two design boards to help show how a lot of these products could work in harmony. And I think that might be helpful rather than just looking at an array of my favorites where they may not all work in unison. And finally, we'll explore the paint color that I'm showing in the background of my video throughout. This is one of Sherwin-Williams 2024 top picks. So I can't wait to go over that with you too. So let's get started.
back here with you for the Happiest Places Home Interior Designer Top Picks, and I have a lot of them, so let's get started. The first item is the Mallory Linear Chandelier. It's $15.99, and I do believe that's well worth the price for such a statement. So this does have the appeal of being a classic and traditional look, but also having a modern update. And I think it's such a beautiful piece. So I also like the name because that's the name of one of my nieces. But believe me, that didn't go into the reason that I picked this as a favorite. So I hope you love it too. Just would be smashing over a dining table and make the room look so complete and dressed up. Next, we have the Antique Vessel Framed Prints. The difference is in, first of all, the price is for each print, and the difference in the price is the size. Um, these remind me of a type of print that someone would have in a very traditional home in the 90s, maybe even late 80s. And I'm not appreciating this because it's retro looking. I'm appreciating it because I think it can fall into so many different design styles. There's so much visual interest. It's nice to sit in your own or someone else's room and really have just something to study um, and relax and appreciate. And um, th this is no simple uh, print. These are really intricate and lovely. And I, I think that, you know, the price is rather high but I'm just letting you know, I appreciate them very much and they do fall into both of my uh, design boards that I'll show you. The next item is Pottery Barn's new coffee table. It's the Lenox Square Travertine. Right now it's on sale for $419, which I think is a good value for a high quality material like this. Now Travertine is very popular right now, has been for about a year or two, and it will go out of fashion, but it is a very high quality material and I think it would be a great investment. Now. Um, if you have a sectional sofa and you're having trouble fitting a coffee table to make sense, this would be good on a petite sectional. Um, so just a recommendation there. Pottery Barn's new Montrose terracotta vase is $129 and well worth it, I think. This is a statement piece. It's beautiful and it reminds me of my theory where if you have a decor item and it looks great every single place you put it, then you've really chosen a fabulous um, piece. And I think this would be that anywhere you put it, it would just uh, make anything look more beautiful. Um, so this probably would work best in a traditional home. Um, but it also could work well to throw some color into your neutral space. The Tortoise Glassware Collection is just fabulous. So I recommended a Tortoise Glassware Collection from, I think, uh, Zara or H&M about a year ago. And I bet theirs is more affordable, but I don't know if they carry it anymore. But these look so substantial. The pattern is just so pretty. And I think that this brown is helping you um, get that 2024 um, interior design trend look where you're bringing more natural um, colors like from elements but also just the idea of having brown in this case but clay and um, a brick color so this would go really well with that concept the Stella printed damask duvet cover and shams are gorgeous. This definitely has a feminine feel to it and would be ideal in um, a few different scenarios. So first of all, it looks like my great grandmother's bedding and it just reminded me of that. And I thought this would be nice for a guest room where you knew your mother-in-law or your mother was going to be staying over quite a bit, but I know that's very random. Um, also in a young adult or maybe, um, a feminine bedroom, someone in their 20s. Um, and it reminds me of a Pottery Barn teen set, actually. But anyway, I thought this was very beautiful. The color is very trendy for 2024. And I think this is a nice set. And the price isn't that bad um, for what you're getting. I like the Dahlia robe uh, for a number of reasons, but at the uh, right now the sale price is $49. I think that's an excellent value for a gift or to buy for yourself. And one of the reasons why I bought this, first of all, it looks Christmassy with the red and the green, but it would go any time of year. But also it seems like every TV show I watch or every movie, there's a woman kind of 
hanging around the house wearing this all day and it's kind of like a bohemian thing and I just thought it's definitely on trend so I thought I would share this one as a favorite. The Gideon Sofa is something that I showed you when I was introducing you to the new curves that Pottery Barn has. And the Gideon is something that just proves that Pottery Barn can be up to date on uh, trends, even though um, they do have their own sort of look all the time. But this comes in a variety of shades and it does have the chenille and the color boucle and um, the velvet that I mentioned in my 2024 trends video is in. So good job, Pottery Barn. Even though the antler row of hooks for a coat hanger looks like it's probably more of a holiday or winter item, I still wanted to include it because I thought it was a really cool concept. I think you could probably DIY this with a branch and have the theme not be an antler, but a branch. But um, for $149, I thought this was a very unique piece and um, I want it, but I don't know if I'll be purchasing it. I can admire it from afar like you probably will as well. I created the following design board for you to see how some of these items fit together. And this is our traditional board. You can see some darker woods that are now in for 2024. The blue and the green, which is something that I know my viewers like quite a bit. And just a lot of different traditional looking pieces. Make a note of the urn uh, prints. They work into both types of designs. I think that's such a versatile item. But this is a good look at these, you know, lighter pinks and the rose uh, color on the boucle there. The paint color that I've been featuring in the background of this video is Sachet Sand by Sherwin-Williams and it's their 2024 color mix color. It's not the color of the year, but it was a color that I liked quite a bit and know that, that this one is in fashion. It's going to reflect about a medium amount of light so your room won't be dark in the sunlight, but it also won't pop where it's blinding. I think this is a very natural looking color and this pink becomes a neutral in 2024 for us. That's a wrap on this Pottery Barn new designs video. I want to thank you for watching Happiest Places Home, the interior design channel. I would love it if you could subscribe if you haven't yet. And I'd like to hear your comments about what you think of these new products. If there is a product that you absolutely want a dupe for because you love it so much, let me know and I'll work on it.